A key value database, KV database, is a type of NoSQL, not only SQL, database that stores and retrieves data as simple key value pairs. In this database model, each piece of data is associated with a unique identifier, the key, and a corresponding value. The data is usually stored in an unstructured or semi-structured format, allowing for flexible and schema-less data storage. Key value databases are designed for high performance and scalability, making them suitable for applications that require fast data access and simple data models. Some key characteristics of key value databases include 1. Simplicity. Key value databases have a straightforward data model, where each record is a self-contained unit consisting of a key and its associated value. This simplicity makes them easy to use and understand. 2. High performance. Key value databases excel at read and write operations due to their simple data structure. They can quickly retrieve data based on the key, making them ideal for use cases with high read and write throughput. 3. Scalability. Many key value databases are designed to scale horizontally, allowing them to handle large amounts of data and high traffic loads across distributed clusters. 4. No schema. Unlike traditional relational databases, Key value databases do not require a fixed schema. Each record can have a different structure, making them flexible for handling varied data types. 5. In memory support. Some key value databases provide the option to store data in memory, which further enhances performance for frequently accessed data. Key value databases are commonly used for caching, real time applications, user session management, and other scenarios where fast and simple data access is crucial. Popular key value databases include Redis, React, Amazon DynamoDB, and Apache Cassandra. While key value databases offer significant benefits for certain use cases, they may not be suitable for applications that require complex queries, transactional consistency, or analytical processing. In such cases, other types of NoSQL databases like document-oriented, column family, or graph databases might be more appropriate. The choice of database type depends on the specific requirements and characteristics of the application and the data being managed. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.